I never did show you um, the cabbage soup. Uh, my broth looks uh, a lot different than most people's because I opted for the the crushed tomatoes so it looks more red and then of course I used the mushroom vegetable um, stock instead of Lipton soup packets and uh, bouillon cubes. But you know I just I chose the crushed tomatoes because I love homegrown tomatoes sliced I mean I absolutely adore them but um, some about big hunks of stewed tomatoes and uh, and my soups and not so big of a fan of that no um, however I'll do diced tomatoes once in a while and some chili but for the most part um, I don't really care for stewed tomatoes so I did it that way okay uh, carbohydrates are like getting off drugs I'm not kidding you I I it's not just psychological it's actually physical as well I mean this is day four I mean uh, I've got my last day is Saturday cuz I started Monday and my son is coming over uh, he's coming over Sunday because his birthday was the 31st and I asked him what he wanted for dinner and he picked something really simple but delicious um, he picked uh, cheesy potato soup and so that's why I started when I did so that I could um, partake in that and oh my goodness carbs Carbs are like crack. They are like crack. And so, last night was really bad. <laughs> I mean, it's like getting off drugs. Uh, so, anyway, I, so I don't want to cheat because I got some rye bread here and Swiss cheese. And, I mean, it's just screaming to me. So, I'm... I made some, I roasted some spaghetti squash, just lightly olive oiled, and I'm going to saute some garlic and mushrooms and mix it in here, because this is, kind of gives you the pasta feel for dinner tonight, and that's really not getting off of the concept of no carbs, no dairy, no meat, so just to give me, um, a boost on my fourth night um, so I don't break down and start shoving bread and cheese into my mouth a different flavor I, I've been putting like diff like cilantro and fresh parsley on top of it to change up the flavor a little bit but <sighs> yeah <laughs> carbs carbs and carbs so, yeah, I was just joshing with the other uh, video. I was actually going to do a real reading. And I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do the clarity um, spread. And it looks like this. And the first card is uh, the overall situation. And then two, three, four are the contributing factors of that situation. And it's, I guess, a group thing, a, a world thing. Uh, that's how I'm going to think in my mind as I'm pulling the cards for the overall situation of the circumstances of what everybody's going through right now. But I would like to read a little bit about the clarity spread. A go-to spread for getting clear about any type of perplexing situation, as can be expected in our complex world. It's rare that one card can capture the nuances of the whole story. The clarity spread offers a look into the overall scenario, as well as the three contributing factors that, to greater or lesser degrees, flesh out the narrative. These three cards appear in no particular order. It's up to you to decide how they will play a role. Don't overthink it. Look at them as 
subtle forces that weave their way into the bigger picture, causing stirs and ripples or beautiful waves. Remember, the card in position one remains the most powerful. Keep the clarity spread in your wheelhouse and use it often. It rarely disappoints. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo boo! What you do with my picnic basket full of cheese and bread? Hey, boo boo! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Hey, boo boo! I want my my cheese and crackers. Oh, gosh, rheumatoid arthritis. We'll try that one more time. My hands just keep getting worse and worse. That's one thing I've noticed though since I cut out the carbohydrates because uh, apparently they're awful for rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> I mean, everything that's good and yummy is bad. Everything that makes me feel good in my gray matter makes my body not so good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to put the clarity card up here and then the three down here. Ooh, Father of Swords. Hopefully you can see that. I'll come down on it after if I remember to. <laughs> The Six of Cups. Father of Wands. Our Clarity card is the Father of Swords. We've got another Father down here. I have for the last, but not least. The Five of Swords. I was tripping out on these worm-like things. <laughs> they look like the things that float in my field. Maybe some nanotechnologies or something like that. Hey, you're so crazy, buddy. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so our clarity card, Father of Swords. Father sits in despair. Like all the swords family, the father has a gift for perception. He has a distinct ability to remove himself emotionally from a situation so that he can truly see it from all angles. He is therefore respected by others, who usually describe him as fair or just. He's a responsible man with deep ties to his family. And we got the Six of Cups. A card of beautiful implications. The Six of Cups focuses on the magic and innocence of childhood. The roots of years past are all right with color and vibrancy. Look back upon them. Get lost in your own memories. Old friends may surface and seek you out. All reunions will be joyful. Enjoy simple pleasures and wonder in all areas of your life. Six of Cups. Now we have the Father of Wands. Father of Wands. The Father of Wands is a man of mystique and charisma, 
Others are drawn to him naturally, and he welcomes them with an open and loving heart. Usually you'll find him involved in the healing arts, as he's deeply compassionate and in tune with life and nature. He is able to hold steady and still during conflict. Okay, last but not least, we have the Five of Swords with the nanotubes floating on it. Five of Swords, yet another card of warning. Warning, yet another card. The big difference. Warning, not warming. <laughs> Yet another card of warning, the Five of Swords depicts the destruction of the self. You'll be lured into another situation or argument you know to avoid. Your selfishness and desire for power will lead you to defeat, pain, and discord will result. Ooh. Ooh. That's sounding good. <laughs> But when we go through these, we usually rise up on top, right? Like cream. Rise that cream to the top. Okay, let's... In case you didn't uh, see the cards, because they're beautiful cards. Father of Swords. The Six of Cups. Father of Wands. And the Five of Swords. Have a good day, everybody. Everybody have a good day now, you hear? Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Say bye-bye, boo. Say bye-bye, boo. Oh, he's so handsome. He's just so very handsome. Boo, so handsome. You're so very handsome. You're so handsome, Boo. Boo, hey, Boo Boo, what'd you do with my picnic basket of bread and cheese? <laughs>